still uh, quite downbeat actually for the market. So the mid-cap index is down about 65 odd points, but the market has recovered a tad bit from the lows. So it's really a very volatile piece today. Earlier this morning, we did catch up with Arvind Sanger of Geosphere Capital Management, who said that India is in a sweet spot currently. He added that uh, cyclical forces are coming into play for India in 2019. Listen into his views. We're looking to put money to work. We're, again, we're, we're, we're not making big macro calls, but we see now the global headwinds, our, our central call on a global basis is not for a global recession. Although the risks have grown, we, you know, we have to be careful that you know, we can never say never. Uh, but we think that, uh, you know, Indian companies that benefit from a global supply chain, there are some companies that are already seeing demand for that from people diversifying out of China. There, there are companies that would benefit from that. We see that interesting. Uh, and we see some of the domestic, you know, more rural-oriented demand stories benefiting from uh, the spending. Uh, and, uh, you know, the NBFCs, as the uh, liquidity conditions ease, you could see some opportunities. What's happening uh, in terms of the populist measures, it looks like, you know, loan waivers is the mood of the moment. Yeah. Again, I, I wish there were more strategic thinking because, you know, uh, the only way that you're going to get farm incomes better is by moving a significant portion of the rural population into, into urban jobs and industry. Uh, in the meantime, all you can do is give palliatives like, uh, you know, uh, minimum support price higher and you can uh, do farm loan waivers and what have you. So, you know, yes, we will take advantage of that in terms of, uh, of equities that will benefit from that. But from a long-term structural uh, standpoint for India, it does nothing. It doesn't solve the fundamental problem of farm productivity. Okay. Well, now let's uh, come back to our favorite segment, Rewind. We are in the last week of the year. And for the past uh, two, three days, trading days, we have been getting you a rewind of several important sectors. We did far more with you. Uh, we have uh, 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 covered several key sectors. Today, we are going to cover the retail sector. You know, when the history of Indian modern trade is written, 2018 may well be remembered as the year that this channel breached the double-digit mark in contributing to FMCG sales. Well, the man who knows it all is Mangala Malu, and he is here to tell us why 2018 was the year for modern trade in India. Mangala. Absolutely. 2018 was the year when contribution to retail sales from FMCG crossed that 10% mark. Now, while a 10% share pales in comparison to other Asian peers like Indonesia, China, Thailand, Malaysia, even Philippines, it's the recent pace of growth and the imminent promise that has all the stakeholders excited. In fact, in just the past two years, growth in sales through modern trade has increased substantially and outpaced traditional channels as well. Two big policy decisions, demonetization and GST, were important policy factors that contributed to the recent growth of modern trade, which has outpaced traditional trade over the last few years. Here are some other factors that were important trends as well. In just the last two years, the number of stores in modern trade universe itself witnessed a double-digit growth on a compounded basis. The street has taken note of that, and retail company stock prices have zoomed manifold over the last two years. DMART, for instance, is up 450%, WeMart up nearly five times. Consumer preference itself has witnessed a slight tilt towards modern trade. So the trade uh, growth has been 13,000. People are buying more year on year, and people are buying more than ever before on big days like Republic Day as well as Independence Day. Not only are the customers buying more offline, they're also buying more kinds of products online that they earlier bought online or offline rather. So the likes of diapers, breakfast cereals as well as liquid soaps have seen a higher contribution coming in from online. Another trend that has become increasingly clear in 2018 is while the popularity of e-commerce is growing, Offline sales haven't dropped. The market is converging. Both ends of the spectrum have understood that their meeting place is somewhere midway at Click and Mortar. And that has brought us to a lot of deals. So, so there are two kinds of retailers today. Ones who say, Amazon's looking to buy me, my business is doomed. Or the others who say, Amazon's not looking to buy me, my business is doomed. Yes, from Whole Foods to Shopper Stop and Aditya Birla's more, Amazon has gone offline shopping. And as news reports say, there could perhaps be even more. Talking about deals, Walmart's 16.6 billion acquisition of Flipkart was the biggest deal in the e-com retail space ever, telling you the promise that modern trade holds for India. So as 2018 draws to a close, a couple of big data points to watch out for in 2019 would be one, increasing store additions by the incumbents and new players. 
Secondly, more products on offer as FMCG companies ramp up their innovation, modern trades give them more shelf space. Third, perhaps another listed player that is Spencer's on our bourses. Fourth, another deal in the retail space, Amazon, Amazon Future. And the big question is, will regulations with regard to foreign ownership in multi-band retail ease? Well, for listed stocks, valuations are high, expectations for earnings are higher, so let's see how 2019 turns out. All right, uh, Mangalam, thanks a lot for that. You know, you mentioned Republic Day and Independence Day. I must say, over the Christmas weekend, that's the last few days, I happened mm. to be at a mall, and I have not seen the kind of crowds throng a mall as much as I've seen in, in a very, very long time. But thanks so much for that. Lalit Agarwal, the Chairman and Managing Director of Vmart Retail, joins in. Mr. Agarwal, if you heard my colleague talk about how modern trade growth has increased substantially, I wanted your own take on what the growth rates could look like, say, over the next one to two years. Good morning. Uh, very happy to be here. Uh, wishing everyone a merry, very, merry, very, very merry Christmas uh, coming here. Uh, yeah, you're absolutely right, and Mangalam was absolutely uh, perfect on, on speaking about the growth and the kind of uh, growth that is coming in the modern trade from the FMCG sector and the, and the other aspirational sector. I think it's, it's, it's really looking very positive, really looking very good. Uh, it's more from both the sides, uh, both the retailers as well as the, uh, the, the consumers both upgrading themselves, both getting better, better in, in their thought process and, and their, uh, their policies on, on where should they procure from and, and how should they place the product. So I think, I think uh, uh, the, the things which are looking now is looking very positive uh, from both the sides, right, from the uh, per capita income, <laughs> yep. aspiration, population. I mm. think from there we are seeing an up uptick which is going to come in. And, and also from the from the size of uh, yeah, uh, the Mr. Agarwal, uh, who are who are trying to then. Yeah. Mr. Agarwal, I'm trying to get some numbers out of you. I get the general drift uh, uh, that things are positive. Uh, can you? I mean, are you getting the feeling that uh, unbranded is moving to branded? That small Kirana shops are losing market share to organized retail. Are you getting that sense for the last eight quarters? Say since Demo, do you think that is the trend? And two, can you put some number? to the uh, same store sales growth uh, that you have witnessed uh, year to date uh, in FI90? It will be difficult for me to put the number, but yes, uh, uh, we, we are expecting something around 5% till now, uh, but yeah, we, we would be around, around that, but uh, something near to that, but uh, this is not very good, mm. but, but we expect more to come in because the marriage season this time has shifted, so normally this gets shifts. But otherwise, I think uh, there is there is a good demand which is there, and, and it is going to see we see it coming up uh, in the next year because the, the the coming year the first quarter itself seems to be very heavy on the marriage dates, and and uh, and people are going to consume more and more. So we would see a higher higher growth okay. coming in in the in the coming year. So what kind of growth have you seen in the festive season so far in Q3? During the first 40 days of festive season, we saw almost higher double-digit growth, and mm. uh, which was there, and which which is uh, which is uh, which was very motivating, and which was which was just very evident that uh, people and consumer wanted to shop from good places, good locations, and they wanted good product, good quality product. So not that the unorganized or the mom and pop players are going away from the market or out of the market, but yes, I think there is even an extra uh, percentage of population which is buying and buying more. Okay. So, so everyone wants to look better in this selfie age. Okay. Uh, has Amazon spoken with you? Uh, I mean, do you have any offline, uh, online plans anyways? No, I don't think we are any, any with any talk uh, with Amazon, and neither have they come up to us. Mm. But yes, uh, we are we are looking to uh, get into Omni space, mm. uh, where we would also try to offer our consumers some bit of digital experience. Mm. Uh, but it will take some time for us to launch. Okay, what's the idea behind getting Mr. Shrikande of uh, the, the the former shop stop guy on your board? Uh, what is new in your strategy? So I think we are very clear. We have a very, very uh, wide board and, and uh, we have good good strength on our board. Uh, but uh, we realize that we have more strength on the financial and the strategic side. But we wanted someone apart from me on the on the okay. retail and the fashion side. So we, we thought, uh, because Srikade was away from uh, Sopper Stop as MD, okay. and we thought it was a good opportunity, we wanted to widen our board base and uh, okay. so that we can take strategic decisions in a, in a, in a collective manner. All right, we're right, so yeah, out of time, that. Mr. Agarwal. Thank you very much. Have a great 2019 yourself. We have to wind down on Bazaar. Lots of ideas on Chartbusters in a minute.